beautiful people and welcome back to another podcast. Another episode with me, Becky Annabelle. So if you are new to my podcast, I share all my experiences on spirituality, manifestation, allowing you to accelerate your life by being aware and self-aware. I like to go a little bit esoteric. I like to go psychology. Um, Yeah, this is Becky's world. So I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. Today we are going to talk about our life's purpose. Now, if you are you know, like me, um, I'm sure many of you are, have asked yourself this one question. And that is, what is my purpose? Why am I here? For what reason am I on this planet alive today? (laughs) You know, it's not a depressing question. Let me remind you, it doesn't mean you're depressed. It just means that you are passionate about finding your passion and you are passionate about finding the reason why you are on earth. You want to make the best and the most of your life here. You want to experience all those wonderful things but you just don't know where to start and how to really accelerate in your life and find your passion. And that's okay. Like I said, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. Because if it does, then I must be completely crazy. Because I've asked this question numerous of times over the years. And this was one of those questions that actually kicked off my spiritual awakening. So I'm actually grateful for this question. But something came to my mind the other day when I said the question, what is my purpose? And I realized that Many of us, like myself, we ask ourselves, what is my purpose? And we look out to the future for one massive purpose and reason to why you're here. As if that you are only alive for one reason only, nothing else. For example, your, you know, purpose could be like, oh, it's to have kids. You have kids and then you're like, okay, well, I have kids now and now what, you know? Oh, must be purposeless, useless. So I feel like if we sort of direct our life to one specific purpose and we achieve that desire and that purpose, then we feel useless and unfulfilled because we have been chasing one thing and one thing only. When I have realized by asking myself the same question, what is my purpose? Your purpose today is to figure out what needs to be done today. So yes, you have a new purpose every single day. So if you woke up today and you're alive and you're healthy, then you have a purpose today to achieve. Um, If you are unwell and you are in bed and you woke up today, your purpose is to heal and get healthy again so you can go and achieve all these wonderful things in your life. So when you wake up in the morning and you have nothing to do, Ask yourself, what needs to be done today? Why am I alive today? What is my purpose today? Your purpose today could be something simple like take your dog for a walk and make sure your dog is fed. Maybe it's to take your dog out to, you know, get his hair cut. Maybe today your purpose is to call your friend who you haven't spoken to in 10 years. And that phone call could be the one phone call that saved this friend's life because they felt helpless and they had no one to talk to and you just showed up at the right time. You don't realize that your little purpose and job or whatever it is that you do today has a ripple effect, can change the entire you know, trajectory of your life and your future. Everything that you do has a ripple effect or a domino effect, whatever you want to, you know, perceive it as. So it's important to know that if you are alive today, you have a good purpose, a good reason why you are here today. Figure that out. Because if you, you know, decide to not, you know, do a certain thing, you may have, you know, be causing more harm than good. So if you feel drawn to messaging someone, calling someone, or going to a certain place. You've been called to do these things for a reason. 
And that's where I like to bring in, you know, intuition and and our inner guidance. You know, when you have that feeling within you where it's like, oh, I feel like an urge to go and check out, you know, this shop today, or I really have the urge to phone so-and-so. I haven't spoken to them in five years, but I don't know why they just came to my head and I feel like I should just call them and see how they are. You don't realize that everybody is connected. We are all connected to each other. So what you are doing today is literally having a domino effect on your future and somebody else's life. So you know when like sometimes you think of someone and then they immediately call, we're all connected. And you know, another another type of, you know, perspective is you can be doing something today and you can bump into someone today who could be the love of your life. And that person could only meet you if they get off their ass and go to, you know, this certain place to bump into you. But if you decided to not take action, then you would never have met this person. You know, the right place at the right time kind of, you know, phase comes you know, phrase comes to mind. But it's true. You have a purpose today and it might seem so subtle, small and pointless, but you don't realize there's there's a there's like a puzzle to your life. You know, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking back. So if you have the desire and have the urge and the guidance to do something in particular today, no matter how big or small it is, just do it. Just follow that guidance because that will have a ripple effect in your future. And it could be something completely life-changing and something that will completely change your entire life for the better. You know, go into that one place. You may not speak to anyone, but, you know, for example, say you walked into, you know, a furniture shop. Just you fancied browsing. Your love of your life could be working there and they could just see you and try and figure out who you are or start talking to you. And that could be, you know, your future wife or your future husband, sort of like a love at first sight. But you wouldn't know unless you got off your ass and took that action, which was just to check out the furniture. If nothing happens, great. That means something else is going to happen. Like you don't know what is in store for you and how things are planning out. Maybe the person that you were supposed to meet today decided to not show up themselves because they decided to not take the action. Okay, then carry on. Just do what you can and what you feel guided to do. So your purpose isn't something so big and major out into the future. It's what do you feel guided to do today? What needs to be done today? And like I said, It does not have to be big. Just know that if you're having like a guidance and the intuition and the thought of doing something, just do it. Ask questions later. Wait, to be honest, you probably don't even need to ask questions later because it's always revealed. And if it makes you feel good, then it's definitely for you. And a lot of us are just not being present enough to notice the synchronicities in our lives. Life is truly magical and when you can look at the point and the viewpoint of what is my purpose today, what needs to be done today, how can I serve, how can I you know, listen to my guidance more, what is my guidance telling me, the more synchronicities, the more magic happens in your life and if you are more present You see this, you witness it, and you can connect the dots. And you realize that life truly is magical. And all of us are connected. All of us are connected in ways that we cannot even imagine. And that's why I love learning about spirituality and manifestation. Because we are all helping each other unconsciously. You know, you could do something very small that you're used to doing every day like holding the door open for someone and you don't realize it but that had changed that person's you know perspective on humans or men or something 
you don't realize that what you do on a daily basis or what you do to other people unconsciously and naturally are serving other people. So make sure whatever deed you do in, you know, in public and around people, make sure it's good. Make sure it's positive. Don't swear and flip someone off just because they cut you up. There could be many reasons why this person cut you up. They could be in an emergency. They could be rushing to, you know, someone's almost lost their life. And they're racing to the hospital. Maybe someone's just had bad news and they, they're they not thinking straight. They probably are not really mentally there because they're too busy thinking about what just happened, the tragic news that they had received. Maybe it's an old person who really is deteriorating quicker than they thought. You, you just do not know what people are going through. So if you can kind of just be that kind person... You don't realize it has a ripple effect and it's changing people's life. You reap what you sow and karma is so real. Whether you like it or not, karma is real. And if you put good out into the world, good will come back to you. Have you ever noticed this? If you haven't, you need to be more self-aware because I notice it full well. When I put out wonderful things and I'm good to people and kind to people, Not because I want good back, because it makes me feel good. I get it back tenfold. People treat me nicely. People let me pass. People hold the door open for me. Even though I'm like so far away, I feel like I have to like run to the door. And I'm like, oh my God, why are you holding the door? And I'm so far away. Because people feel you. They feel your magnetic energy. You are that kind person. You are doing good deeds and it will come back to you. You know, it's you radiating that, that aura and that, you know, magnetic energy. It feels good to be good. It feels good to be nice. And you know, your little deed every single day makes a huge difference. You know, it changes people's lives. Your purpose could be something so small, but so big to someone else. So if you are alive today, if you are healthy and you are awake, It's for a good reason. It may not be just for your own needs. It could be for somebody else's. It could be saving somebody's life. A smile goes a long, long way. Especially if you have ever been depressed or down. And someone turns and just smiles to you in public. It feels so nice. You know, there's times when I've smiled, you know, it's sad to say this, but I've smiled at females before in the gym, being nice, and you get the most miserable blank face that I've ever experienced. You know, I find that very heartbreaking because it's like, it's not hard to smile back at someone. And when I'm in public and out of the blue, a girl would smile at me. Just out of the blue. I immediately smile back. And then for like half an hour, an hour late, I'm like, wow, I really appreciate her. Because she smiled at me. She made the effort. She's obviously really nice. Like, you just feel that that connection with people. A smile goes so far. And especially if you're not happy and you're going through something, when someone smiles at you, it releases those feelings of endorphins and happiness, and you just feel like, you know, you you have a purpose, and you're here for a reason, you feel a little bit better, it gives you that, that lift, so ask yourself, what can I do today, what is my purpose today, what needs to be done today, or how can I serve someone consciously, Do your little deed in whatever way that you can. And I promise you, your life will change. You'll change someone else's life. Good will come back to you. And you will start to see more joy in life. Be grateful for the little things. Be grateful for your health. Because you are here for a reason. And like I said, if you're healthy and you're up and running, you have shit to do. You have a reason why you're here. Find it. Find today's reason and go and achieve it. 
I know this um, episode was very short, but it's one of those things that came to my mind and I really just wanted you guys to to hear it and use it as fuel for today. Find what you can do today. You know, today somebody actually held the door open for me and I did have to power walk because I was pretty far in the car park. But I was just so grateful because it's like, I don't know this person, I don't know this man, but I just thought that is so kind for kind of him to do that for me and I really appreciate it it just makes you feel wanted and cared for by strangers and it he doesn't realize it but it's made a huge impact in my mood today so like I said something small can really change on one's day so find your purpose for today I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in my next podcast love you